G'day Roosters, let's have a look at uh, revision clouds in uh, drafting and Revit software. Now what? first of all, what is a revision cloud or what is also called a rev cloud? Well often when you have a project that's well advanced like this model here, you'll have changes during, in particular where the changes happen where you do rev cloud is when you have uh, issued for construction and then changes after that issue for construction. So take for example we've got this ground floor plate here and we've decided that this slab's too thick we've uh, need to thin that down so we'll change it to a 230 millimeter thick slab and that changes on the plan fine and then uh, there's a section here too that have changed of course um, that just some detail so that Revit's automatically done that to 230 so we'll just need to adjust that um, construction joint there for the wall and adjust that reinforcing in that wall, the slabs by others in this case. So we've got two things we've got to change, have changed there. We need to issue those drawings. Now on the drawing, we have the 230 showing up in that slab and in the section, it's already updated. Now we have to rev up, as we call it, those drawings. Now I'll give you a power tip here for just large project management generally what I do and this is just a general drafting tip is if you up rev your project like this with no dates in it in the revision description that means that that drawings changed but it's not issued yet because you, you probably will find that you'll make heaps of changes to drawings and then you issue them all together on Friday or night or something crazy like that that's often the way so first of all, I always, if I change a drawing, I uprev it without the date for that purpose. Now we've got the next thing is revision clouds. Now a revision cloud highlights to somebody where the changes are. And this is important when you've done an issue for construction and then you've got changes afterwards because often things important can get missed. In this case, we're thinning the slab, not thickening it. So structurally, it's probably not a big deal. But yeah, this is an more of an architectural reason why that was thinned down and there was some changes with the landscaping walls here. Now, first of all, in Revit, you've got uh, in object styles, you have mod model objects. And if you go down to R, uh, sorry, annotation objects and go R, you've got uh, Rev clouds. And I've got the line weight one and the color red. So I draw in black and white in Revit, as you can see, and that's because I personally feel that you get a BIM, better BIM experience when you model like that, because you can use colors um, more easily to tell a story in the BIM environment. Um, so let's do the revision cloud. So you go to annotate here, and we have this thing called revision cloud. Now Revit basically has got all this set up for you already. There's some other settings that can control the size of the cloud, but I just want to cloud around where those changes are. So this is this entire slab was changed in thickness. Now I could I could just rev cloud around the entire slab here, so that highlights. And you could just rev cloud just around the tag that changed. Either one's good. In this case I want that whole slab to highlight because want to alert the reinforcing people who are doing a separate package that that's changed. So you can see they're red. If you printed that PDF, if we go print to that, uh, we'll just do a preview on that. You can see that that stands out like a pimple on the end of your nose. So you can clearly see there's a change there. Now likewise too, we'll do a similar thing with this drawing is uh, rev cloud that change which is just this zone here you've got you can do line like that line and you just do a free a free throw like that and this rectangular and I often use rectangular too that's quite good it just gives you a nice square box so that's the drawings rev clouded and up revved now I haven't put the date on it I only put the date on the drawings just as I'm about to issue them when everything else has been done, because there'll probably be some other changes to the drawings. So that's revision cloud in uh, drafting uh, with Revit software.